Hi, Carsten. Hi, Bernard. Now another quick video. What we well, do. maybe not so quick. Let's let let's see. So we are step <laughs> ten, uh, which is we need to deploy the AVD agents uh, into the desktop you just created. So you know to make it marry the host pool or to, that it joins the host pool. And um, yeah, we could do it manually, or we have, or let's say, PowerShell assisted. Right, so there is some yes. sample PowerShell code that will download that stuff. So if we have it here, I copied it. So mm -hmm. first I go into the machine and we have. Yeah, th this one needs to be in the virtual machine, in the desktop. So if we want to do copy and paste, so I think you need to do the enhanced session logon, right? Because otherwise. Yes, yes you're so right. Thing. So why isn't it here? We, we click again and now we yeah. have it. No matter how you get, you know, that code into the desktop, but you know, it's um, it's important that we run it inside the VDI because the agents sit inside the um, inside the desktop. Okay. And as you maybe has have noticed, I logged in as a domain administrator. So I start so you, the ESA. Yeah, so you logged on as domain admin. Um, you don't really need to be domain admin. It would be okay to be local admin, right? Um, okay. For that, so we're not doing domain specific stuff. So you know, there the code does download the agents. So two pieces of software, right? The agent and the bootloader. Uh, this is the you know sort of link that even the AVD team is using for deploying session hosts. Or at they least. may change in the future. So I think for now it works. It should be relatively stable. I mean, what's behind that might change, but the links, you know, they are used within other templates. So uh, it might be even hard for them to, you know, to um, to change that once. But yeah. you know, there is documentation out there. You could see it on the top. I think um, it are. would tell you. Yeah, it would tell you how to do that stuff. Anyways. It will download the agents, it will install it, and one piece of installation is a so-called registration token, right? Which is the only thing that makes the agent to join the host pool. Mm -hmm. No Azure credentials needed, nothing else. It's just by the registration token. So, so this no registration deal? token, yes, is a delicate piece, right? Because it is, you know, a sort of, you know, it, it has privileges to join anything to a host pool. Um, so it is time boxed, uh, um, I would say, right? And you get it from the host pool. So if you click on your host pool that you yes, want I'm to here, join. You know, here in the resource group where we create right. our host pool, here's our host pool. I click on it. Mm -hmm. And then we have here yeah. the registration key. There it is. Right. Click on it. And, and we generate have, a new one? Yeah, sometimes, you know, this is grayed out because it was created a long time ago, right? And you maybe it expired it and it makes sense sometimes to expire this. So if you don't have one, just create a new key. Um, yeah. Don't make it, you know, be usable for indefinite time. So yeah, yeah. just copy and paste that one. The question is, is this the European syntax? So it's uh, valid oh. for one month or is it only valid until tomorrow? I guess it's valid for one <laughs> month, right? <laughs> so uh, I will copy this you, one. Now you got me, I don't know. But this I is only for- I think it's a month. I think we did it before. Yeah, but this doesn't mean, right, that this, uh, that, you know, even if it would be just one day, I mean, your desktops still would be in the host pool. It's just the validation time that we need for the process of joining the host pool, right? It's not. Yeah. But if you want to, to join multiple uh, uh, right. virtual machines into the host pool, it would be nice if it if you can use reuse the scripts at least for some days. So I'll, I now yeah. copied the registration token in the mm -hmm. variable. And okay, it should let's... be fine. It's very long, yeah. So that yeah, would be fine. And then I right. can save it. Um, yeah. Let's save it to, let's say, the desktop. Normally, I don't like it on a desktop, but uh, AVD agents PS1. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, give it a try. Yeah, I'm, and, I'm uh, not an administrator, an administrative user, so I did this wrong. This is a normal IC. So mm -hmm. I will okay. start the IC again, run as administrator. Mm -hmm. So, and you may think that this process is a really manual one, right? But, you know, we showed you in the manual way of doing things. Um, this will change in the future with um, the Azure Resource Bridge coming up because this step then will be done automatically, right? Um, however, you know, behind the curtains, it will be, you know, pretty much, um, I think, the same, or at least the principle will be the same, um, but it might be performed from Azure, even when you already create the, uh, the host pool. So um, more... Um, it will be easier. Uh, it will it will become easier, right? So here the first all, step: the files. Yeah, here are the files, right? Are uh, the Windows, Windows installer files? So keep them running. Um, I think you know um, the interesting part starts here. So I sort of scripted the unattend or the um, uh, the um, yes, the uh, no user interactive. Um, the quiet Wait. installation. Yes, sir. Thanks for the words. <laughs> so the quiet, the quiet or the passive installation method for these agents. Um, and uh, in, interesting uh, to note is that these agents will update themselves, right? So when you at the time when you have them installed, they will go out for the internet and have you know look if there is new versions for them. Um, they will also take down some other binaries as well and some other installers. So. If you go to your apps and programs, you should be seeing some uh, additional uh, right click on the uh, the Windows logo, all right? Or like this, right? Um, Add and remove programs, you mean? Yep. You mean, right? And um, there should be, you know, if you scroll down, there should be these two, but there should be also others, you know, starting to be downloaded. Now you have the WebRTC and the SXS. Uh, stack right so these are the ones that i'm talking about they they are coming right and there's another thing if you would go to the registry please for this one yeah and um once these agents are installed if you go to local user a uh, local machine software fs logics nah, <laughs> it's um sorry it's in a different path it's um it's the rd infra agent so and it's on the Microsoft, yeah. Microsoft, I guess. Mm -hmm. RD Infra Agent. RDP. R. There it is. One down. Infra Agent. Here we are. Right. So you should be, once it is um, connected to Azure, right, the registration token on the right hand side will go blank, right? Oh, it is. So it is currently blank. So this means, you know, th that your registration worked. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. it would still contain, you know, the copy and pasted uh, registration token. So you might have proxies in between, or you might have firewalls blocking outbound HTTPS requests, sort of, right? But this is how you should see it on um, after a successful registration. So now if okay. you could go back to your Azure subscription to the host pool, we should see something. So right. here's our host pool. Mm -hmm. Do a refresh will, here. Yes, I will. First, I will close this, and then I search for the refresh key. And here we are, one total wow. machine, one can connect. Why? Wow. And uh, okay, that's and an application what, group. We have also. So if you go to total machines, you should see um, your VM or it's the available. desktop, right? And if you click on this, um, it might, you know, take a couple of minutes because it would tell you, hey, that it might update a version or something like that. Um, yeah, and that's how it should look like, right? So that's fine. So I think we're done for that video. And um, now the next thing would be getting closer to connecting to the desktop, which is done using the remote desktop application tool. And we'll demonstrate that. See you in that video.